by shaping a new tomorrow for us and for our neighbors. If we have a new tomorrow, we can find solutions for all the disputes of the past. And Ambassador Lauder is one of those few Jewish leaders that state their mind, that speaks out, that care, that has actions everywhere. And I'm deeply honored to present you today with the Paris Center for Peace and Innovation Award. This award was designed by my father. He never left room for anyone. So he designed it, he signed it, and I'm greatly honored and pleased to present you with this humble um, award, knowing that this is a very worthy person to receive this award. Thank you very much. was the last conversation we had. Um, when I came uh, with Joe Carroll and our two grandchildren, I asked them what they wanted to see most, and they said, President, uh, Shimon Peres, President Peres. I said, why? He said, we read some things and we were really fascinated by him. Um, we came there. First of all, he treated them like they were two ambassadors from different countries. <coughs> and he treated them with great honor and respectability. And it was a speech about peace, a speech about peace. And he spoke about peace between the Arabs and the Israelis and what it meant. Um, and as many of you know, my whole belief is in what you call a two-state solution. and. I see it going away. I see it disappearing because there are not people like me today in the world who have that vision. And we're slowly missing. And whenever I speak, I always think about what Shimon would have said at the times. And he is the only person I know that can be funny about a two-state solution. <laughs> he made people laugh, but in that laughter, he made people think. And um, since that point, it's been my basic belief that the future of Israel is the peace of our Arab neighbors. And until that time happens, my fear, my fear very much, is that we'll miss an opportunity. Was it Abi Eden who said, um, Israel never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity? No, the Arabs never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Yes. <laughs> I thank you for this honor, and thank you very, very much for um, building this center for peace, because it's a unique type of place. I also am looking forward to seeing your innovation idea. Um, but more important, Thank you for your father and what he did and what his legacy is about. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He is somebody who is deeply committed, knowledgeable, and willing to act on it. There are a lot of people who have strong commitments. There are a lot of people who have courage, but there are very few people who have both. He has strong commitment, but the courage to act on them.
Nothing can be 